The Jakarta Bandung High Speed Railway, named Jakarta Bandung High Speed Railway, is set to commence operations in October 2023. However, the financial forecast report at the end of 2023 indicates potential losses of up to 3.15 trillion Indonesian rupiah in its first year of operation, spanning a total length of 142 kilometers with a top speed of 350 kilometers per hour. This high-speed railway stands as the inaugural project of its kind in Indonesia and Southeast Asia. Once operational, it will significantly reduce travel time between Jakarta and Bandung from over 3 hours to approximately 45 minutes. Karita Sipat Indonesia China, KCIC, a joint venture between four Indonesian state-owned enterprises and China Railway International Company, LTD, is responsible for the construction and operation of the Jakarta-Bandung High-Speed Railway. The December 2023 financial forecast report, obtained by the Jakarta Post, reveals that KCIC aims to address the projected losses through what is termed as cash deficiency support. Analysts speculate that this support might be secured through bank loans. As of the end of December 2023, the Jakarta Bandung High Speed Railway has achieved a cumulative passenger volume exceeding 1 million. KCIC anticipates generating revenue of IDR 2 trillion in 2024, with over 95% stemming from ticket sales. However, the financial forecast report reveals that the company must allocate 3.32 trillion Indonesian rupiah for operational maintenance. Additionally, an extra 1.84 trillion Indonesian rupiah is earmarked for loan interest payments and tax obligations. Consequently, KCIC requires 3.4 trillion Indonesian rupiah in funds to ensure sufficient cash flow for the year. The overall cost of the Jakarta Bandung High Speed Railway project stands at approximately 7.3 billion US dollars. In 2017, China Development Bank extended a loan of 4.55 billion US dollars to KCIC with a 40 year term and a 2% interest rate. However, the project faced cost overruns of up to 1.2 billion US dollars. To meet the deadline, Authorities sought an additional loan of approximately 560 million US dollars from the China Development Bank earlier this year to cover the overrun costs. Consequently, KCIC now grapples with substantial debts. Analysts express concern that the deficit of the Jakarta Bandung high speed rail may persist for decades, potentially impacting state owned enterprises involved in the project, particularly Karita API Indonesia. The three presidential candidates seldom discussed plans to extend the high-speed rail during their campaigns, raising questions about the project's long-term sustainability. The jakarta Bandung High-Speed Railway is anticipated to require additional borrowing in the coming years to sustain operations. However, the mounting debt may diminish its bargaining power when seeking loans. Given the current scenario, allowing KAI to provide more loans for the jakarta Bandung High-Speed Railway, if sanctioned by the Indonesian government, poses certain risks. Tune in every Monday to Friday at 8 p.m. for Qingxiao View, The Business Bridge.